thanks. My my like just my right arm moving that, is enough. That was really good. I like that. Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 83 of the Lunchtime Serenade podcast. We're eating something that I don't even think we've ever eaten any iteration of on this podcast because I have been a baby until just now. Dude. Um, we're now, eating Now poke. you're a baby man. Now I'm a baby poke. man. A little bit of baby man. I'm not much of a seafood person and when I say I'm not much of a seafood person, I mean I have eaten seafood like twice. Well, before like recently, I had eaten seafood maybe like once or twice in my life. Um... But you know, are you hot? You good? I'm just all, I'm just always hot. Yeah, you, you are. Right. Here's the thing: it's it's fall in LA, everybody. I know. It's people it's are finally breaking out not 85 their, degrees. They're breaking out their Columbia full length coats, their beanies, their mittens, and it's a balmy 73 <laughs> yeah, degrees, yeah, yeah. baby. It's perfect, though, dude. This is such a relief Ugh. from the 95, you have though. No idea, especially like in Woodland Hills, it's like five degrees hotter yeah. than everywhere else in yeah. the valley. So it's like everyone's like, "Wow, it's so nice hitting 80s," and I'm sitting in like and 90. The valley like, is 10 degrees hotter than everywhere else, so you're like 15 degrees hotter mm. than the rest of LA. This is fucking nuts. Statistically skewed. Yeah, very much. It's horrible. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I've recently started to make the decision to. I, the only reason I haven't had seafood really in my life is just because one, I'm allergic to shellfish, so that eliminates a decent amount of it. And then two, I just like, because of that, I just haven't really showed an interest. But I also am like, oh, fuck seafood. But there's no legitimate cause. There's no reason for that, you know? It's just like, what? Is, and and I'm trying to go in with an open mind. Why do I hate things that I haven't tried? You're growing. I'm growing. I love this. We love this growth. We love growth. So now I have been recently trying seafood and poke and whatever. And I got to say... I fuck with it. The taste is great. I just am mentally having to get over the fact that it is raw fish, but I fuck with it. And yeah. I got a poke burrito, which is like next level. Yeah, we're just we're just dropping different things completely on you today. Yeah, you're just yeah. gonna try it all, and I we'll love try that. Try it all. Um, so here we go. I got mine coated with hot Cheeto dust. Oh fuck yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. So we'll see. It's funny because I'm like, this is. It's cold, but it's supposed to be cold, so I'm... Uh... People get to really judge my fucking chopstick usage today. I eat so like just so many meals with chopsticks. Like We just eat so many like noodle dishes so and you're whatnot. A pro. And like, oh no, I'm not. I'm fucking awful at it. So uh, please don't drag me too hard in the comments. I get it, all right? I know, but it'll be fine. It'll be all right. But I got poke bowl. Ooh, this is well White added. rice base. Um, I got albacore tuna, sweet salmon, and spicy tuna. Uh, threw a little bit of garlic ponzu, a little bit of uh, mango yuzu on it, which are the same thing. Uh, they're both derived from the same citrus Uzu. fruit uh, that like usually comes from like Korea and China, but okay. like mostly used in like Japanese cuisines, or at least like most commonly seen in that way. Uh, it's mostly it just a from. Do you know? It's like a it's like a citrus. So like oh, the shit. the sauce itself is usually mixed with like that. Um, like the juice of that citrus, maybe like a little bit of soy sauce mm -hmm. um, to just kind of like give it a little bit of like like a, a, a sweet and saltiness to got it. Got it, got it. And that's kind of usually what you see when you see like yuzu and ponzu. It's yeah, usually yeah, yeah. like whatever the flavor in front of it is and then like sweet and salty, which oh, is a very Japanese thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, totally. A little bit of seaweed salad, salad, some scallions. Pineapple. Um, pineapple and a little bit. Of, uh, fuzz, I guess. Um, and a little bit of scallions. Dude, I love poke because it's just thrown. Yeah, I mean, it's All this great. shit that I love thrown together. And I believe it's it's Polynesian in descent. Is it Hawaiian? So. Yeah, it's like Hawaiian Polynesian, okay. yeah. This looks. Like, this yeah. is very dense. Oh if, my god. If nobody has ever eaten, please give us a cross section of that. Look at that. Look oh at, no, I'm Look at this shit. No. Look at all this shit. Damn. Baby. Ooh. Mm. All Dude. right. So There's... I got a burrito with uh, white rice, nori, and then on the oh. inside you got jalapenos. I also got nori on it. Hell yeah. Spicy tuna, albacore, tofu, mm. and you know, just like classic. Nothing nothing exciting. Nothing yeah. too exciting. Pretty you're, standard you're still, shit. You're still working your way yeah. into it. Yeah. No need, no need to go crazy while you're still figuring out what you like, you know? Mmm. Yo. Oh my god. That's so good. I cannot get over this. God damn, dude. Bro. Is there nori? Like, oh, that's interesting. Mm. It's like shredded almost. Oh, really? Yeah. For those that don't know, nori is usually 
it's seaweed, right? So it's mm-hmm. usually like dehydrated little squares, and usually they like kind Flat of like set things. it kind of like as a, like a nice little decorative piece on a side. Mm-hmm. But this is like shredded and kind of added into it. I kind of fuck with that because like again, the, the whole thing with poke is like you kind of want a little bit of everything in every bite, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna try this. There's that spicy oh. tuna just chilling on this little piece of pineapple. And like the interesting thing too, wow. for the most part, it's always gonna kind of taste the same. Yeah, you know, like yeah. you're, like I am salmon tastes like salmon. That's just how it is, right? Right. So it's always just kind of like your combinations are what makes a poke dish great. And like it's always made to order, so like you always really get what you want, and you can always try a plethora of different com- combinations because you just get so much in it. And this is always a very filling dish. Yeah, I love seaweed salad. I'm gonna have to try seaweed salad next. Mm. Mm. Here, let me give you just like a tiny little bit of it. Why not? It's just crab in here, so I don't. I oh, can't. fuck! You're right. I forgot. I know. I was almost like, and I, I know. even like talked about that this morning, where I was like, I don't want to put anything yeah. in front of you that'll kill you, and here yeah. I am. No, I won't. I won't die. That's always a prerequisite because like, there's varying levels of allergy, right? There's like mild like irritation all the way to like anaphylaxis. So. Uh, I'm just somewhere in the middle. I won't die, but it'll it'll fuck up my digestive tract for <laughs> the day, and I'll probably be out of commission for the next four to six hours. Ooh, not fun. Accidentally, dude, when I was in, let's see, we went to Ireland when I was like really young, maybe like ten or eleven, to like spread my grandma's ashes. Great place for from. seafood. Your grandma's from Ireland, mm-hmm. dude. She had you're... an Irish import shop. You, that's insane. That's mm-hmm. so cool. It was right there on um. Oh my god, 23 and like, I don't fuck. Remember, I don't know if you ever, you're driving down 23 like mm-hmm. towards Notre Dame. Yeah. And there's like that little like outlet shop now. There's like a, a Froyo place and like uh, Armando's hair cutting and shit like that. And there's like, yeah. it was right next to like a, a bar. The bar has just been torn down. <laughs> Damn. Fuck, I, I wish I could, I wish I knew the cross street. Uh, 23 is long as hell. 23 is long as hell. Over by Notre Dame, there, it's that big intersection, and there's like the gas station right here, like past past the Martins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down there, yep, big yep, gas yep. station right yep. there. It was the Irish import shop was there for like thirty years. Wow. Yeah, I right never knew about thing. that. Mm-hmm. That's wild, dude. Yeah, my grandma's Irish as hell. That's so wild, dude. I have you ever done like an ancestry.com like breakdown? Both my parents have, so I feel like you know that's I'm just gonna get half of whatever. I think have. that's enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very. Uh, um. Very Spanish and Native American on my dad's side. Mexican, so it makes sense. Um, and then very, like, German and Irish, like, on my mom's side. She's, like, pretty much split right down the middle of those what two. A, what, an, what an incredible combination. Yeah, it's wild. Um, have you? Mm. Have your parents? Or you? We haven't. The only thing is, like, the hard part is, is, like, my dad, um, like, we're not, like, 100% sure, <laughs> like, uh-huh. his lineage because <laughs> okay. like we the, there's there's been some recent developments in which that we don't think okay like some, some of his siblings who believed that his dad was their dad turns out is not their dad no. so that we're like hmm and this is not like i'm not saying like oh somebody cheated on somebody like my like my dad was basically raised by a single mom like his whole life. So like there's gotcha. a lot of a lot of stuff in there. Mm-hmm. That story is a very interesting story. That sounds insane. Yeah, like like the how how my dad has turned out is like very interesting to me and like very like kind of inspiring in my personal opinion. Um so like there's there's all of that stuff. So like we 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 presume that like his side of the family is mostly German and uh like English Isles mm-hmm. descendants. Um, mostly because the last names are Moore okay. and Hackbarth. Okay. Yeah. So just very like yeah. Central European, you know. And then um, my mom's side of the family is like almost exclusively German. Like my mom really? was doing like a like a like a family, family tree, tree for the last yeah. couple of years. My she, mom has been doing that too. That's so dude, funny. She got it like super into it when the pandemic started. Same. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's incredible. Yep. She got super into it, and she was able like my dad just kind of stops because we just don't like really no yeah um my mom's goes all the way back to like the 1600s in like in america and then we have to like in order for her to continue it she has to go to like because she knows like the names of the people 
Um, but she can't get any information on it because it's all held by the records of like in Germany. Mm-hmm. So she has to like write to like the that's cool. the like the people of Germany to, or the people of Germany. There's like <laughs> the a, people of Germany. <laughs> Hear my plea. The she has to like petition like this specific office in Germany to oh, wow. like get records and like to them, yeah. to flesh it out even further. So that's like where she's stuck right now. That's crazy, right? Damn, that's so cool. Yeah, that's uh. Wow. That's fucking that cool. It's so interesting. Yeah, it really is. It really, really is. And Ancestry.com and all those like places where I still don't even know how it works, but my mom's like, oh my God, I got so into this. And like you can find like relatives and then like be like and then like look into them and be like, okay, they're probably related to me. And then you like add them tentatively to your family tree and then that unlocks a bunch of other it's like a fucking puzzle. Yeah, it's, it's wild. crazy. And it's all I, re- I was reading an article about this. Which could be debunked because this was a couple years ago, um, but apparently most of those things are owned by the Mormon Church. So every time you do something, what like the the, the Church of Latter Day Saints uh-huh. basically gets all of that information because okay. in like the Mormon religion you can baptize dead people into Mormonism. Huh? They're like the They're whole just trying thing. to grow their numbers. Exactly. Their view body. That's, that's like kind of. <laughs> <laughs> According to this article, the 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 Mormon Church is view body in their religion. That's crazy, bro. That's so funny. That's but, insane. Yeah, I remember reading that and being like, "What? <laughs> that is nuts." Again, bro. could be incorrect. Could be completely debunked at this point. But somebody double check me in the comments below because I, I actually. Now that this is in my head, I'm not going to let it go. I'm curious about that. Maybe we'll do a little research after the pod and see if that's been debunked or anything has come of that. Yeah, that's that's wild. View botting your religion is nuts, bro. That's so funny. Look at how many members we have. <laughs> don't look at how many of them are active in chat, but dead, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, 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 don't worry. Just look at the number. Look at the they little red number. They got a lot of like bottom. numbers in their names. Is that? Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. No, it's cool. No, they're fine. They're, yeah, they're, they're, fine. They're, they're, they're there. It's all they're first fine. name, last name, three numbers. That's. Uh, June? They all have they all have two followers. What's up with this? No, don't worry. None half of them don't even have profile pictures. It's fine. All of their accounts have been created in the last two weeks. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> oh my god, that's what a funny concept, bro. Just like looking at through the I just I just love that idea that somebody's just like, yeah, I'd like to like to uh, baptize my great 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 grandfather. Yeah. The a dude who like didn't even know like Protestantism was a thing yeah, and they're exactly. just like he's gonna be a member of the Mormon church. Now. Yeah, I love it. I that love it. Was, that guy didn't even know who Frederick Douglass was. <laughs> Anyways. Where were we? Oh, right. You're spreading your ashes Ireland. in Ireland. Spreading her ashes in Ireland. And um God. We're at the little pub, and um, I'm 10, so I ordered chicken fingers and chips. Um, I got yelled at for calling them fries, of course. <laughs> I like that they're like, no, we're going we're gonna to make sure that this yeah. eight-year-old yeah, fucking exactly. knows his place. You fucking chips, you idiot. Where you, were you raised, you Neanderthal? <laughs> you fucking dummy. Yeah. Um, so I order like a basket of chicken fingers and chips, and um, I get them, and I'm like, these are the most tender chicken fingers i've ever had in my life oh like, no they taste so interesting but i'm like i don't i'm like they, they just must have weird chickens here in ireland or something you know they're just grown different <laughs> yeah, there, yeah they, the chickens here are built different bro so i'm like fucking ch- chowing down on these like what i think are chicken nuggies <laughs> and then um my mom is like oh, what no. are those i was like that's that's the chicken and she's like she like picks one up she looks at it and she's like this is a scallop and I'm like, what's that? She's like, it's shellfish. You're allergic to... I was like, oh, no. Like, I had eaten like fucking six of these fucking... Just scarfing them down. Bro, it was bad. <laughs> I'm just in a little poop. Like, just trying to shit your brains out. in my like brains the, out, bro. In the tiny little bathroom yeah. in the back. Oh, man, it was oh. bad. Jesus, dude. And that yeah. was when you like... Was that like your first experience of like... I have just eaten something that I am allergic to. I think so. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, because I was I was eight. And I mean, you're not really. I'm not allergic to anything else, really. And I don't think I've ever had that like visceral of a reaction. Now that literally, probably what I could compare that to now is like just raw dog and cheese or ice cream. Like it, it probably a little worse with shellfish, <laughs> but like no lactose pill, just straight up eating that. I'll be I will be out of commission. Truly, like it's bad. Damn. Yeah, I developed that. I mean, it's not even an. I, I mean. You can't really call it an allergy if it's an intolerance. I guess there's probably 
some overlap there mm-hmm. between intolerance and allergy, but yeah, like it still like affects you in yeah quite the similar way. It might not yeah. be like scientifically the same name, right? But damn, dude, that's yeah, it tears me <laughs> up. Tears me that's up. so funny though that like it happened to you in a tiny little pub yeah. in Ireland. In Ireland, little little Nick Ortega just mm-hmm. shitting his brains out in a little Irish pub. I got that's made so fun funny. of by some fourteen year olds because I didn't know the rules of pool. They were the only nobody other, knows the rules <laughs> of pool. They were the only other kids in the in the poop. And I keep saying it like that. And uh, in the poop, in the poop, and I'm like, oh, I want to hang out with them. And so they're like playing pool. They're probably fucking born and raised in this pub, honestly. They've never left. They've never they're, left. They're the keepers of the pool table. And they're just like running pool. And I'm like, can I play? And they're like, where are you from? You have a funny accent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm from New Mexico. And they're like, you speak English really well. I'm like, no, it's in the United States. And they're like, uh, they're like oh, you're American. You're American. And so I'm like trying to, I, I, you know, I like have probably played pool before. I'm like, you know, eight, nine, ten, I don't know, but not correctly. And so, you know, there's rules like you can't hit your opponent's ball first. I didn't know that. I'm just trying to hit some balls in. I hit the opponent's ball first and they're like, yes, how you do it. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you have to hit your ball first. And it was like a whole thing. And I felt like an idiot. I was like, I don't, don't yell at me. I just want to play with you. I like how traumatizing this whole yeah, like series is that you remember almost all of it. I also got punched for the first time in what? Ireland, bro. Not at that, not at that poop, but um, you're at, like eight. Yeah, at the beach, I got punched <laughs> in, the, in the stomach, bro. I feel like I've, I might have told this before, but the long story short is, we're at the beach, and um, this like older kid, he's like maybe ten or eleven, is like pushing my sister's head under the water. Yeah, what? And the I'm fuck? like, what the hell? I go up and I'm like, hey. Don't do that. Hey, man, you're trying to murder my like, sister. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. And um, he just straight up, like, without a thought, punches me right in the stomach. <laughs> um, and I was so shocked. I was like, oh, I've never had this. I haven't been punched since. Like, I've never gotten in a fight. <laughs> I was like the one fight I've been in. Got punched in the stomach. I was like, oh, my God. I start crying because I'm, like, just so confused. Absolutely. And, then my, and you're eight. <laughs> and I'm eight. And then my swim trunks fall down. <laughs> I'm just naked, bro. Dude, that's so... That's, that's I, fucking awful. I completely awful. forgot about my sister, and I just start running to tell my mom. And in the mean... Like, I'm crying and and clutching my stomach, and as I'm running down the beach, my fucking swim trunks fall off. <laughs> and I'm just, like, little tiny eight-year-old ass waiting in the air. <laughs> the only thing that would be funnier is if they tripped you and you fell. <laughs> that would be really funny. That would be, the like, the yeah. best little, like, <laughs> perfect. Just a little cherry no, on no. top. God, that would have been perfect. Yeah, no, I uh, th- that Holy trip was shit, dude. really that, a transformative experience. That was cursed. Yeah. <laughs> you did not have a good time. Yeah. Your grandma's dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. And then on top of that, everyone is <laughs> all of a sudden, like, everyone's spreading her ashes, like, uh, later in the week on a, on a different beach, spreading her ashes. I don't realize, really, what we're there for. I just, like, another family trip to the beach. So, I, like, you know, they're all, there's, like, a group of people. I'm, I don't notice i'm just like off kind of playing which i'm sure they thought was fine they don't need an eight-year-old to be there for the you're a child shit, do right? your thing you'll go play you don't and really so, have a, you don't really have a concept of your own mortality yeah, yeah just go over there so i like i'm like playing i find like a cool seashell or something i try to run i run back right i'm like guys look at this cool seashell meanwhile everyone is sobbing right they're like saying a prayer they've got my grandma's ashes and my uncle stopped and he's like hey hey, hey whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. <laughs> don't do that and i'm like i'm like what's happening they're like they're doing the thing and i'm like and I felt like so bad. For the rest <laughs> what of a time. homie for your uncle Dude, to be I like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he cheated on my aunt with one of his high school students. So. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he, Whoa. He, he was a high school teacher, ran away with one of his students. So cool guy. All right, so maybe a little less yeah, of a homie. Yeah, less but... of a homie. Less of a homie. Wow, that's a story. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, dude. Good Insane. lord. Insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's a whole part of the, that family that just has some trauma there. Dude, I would I would love to like swap familial stories. Yeah, at some dude, honestly. There's just so much weird shit in yes. like the, my family's like backstory. Same. <laughs> oh Same. my god, that'd we be so should much one fun. day just sit down and just have a little have a little sesh. Yeah, that's so good. Holy shit! Meanwhile. This poke is excellent. <laughs> yeah, I smashed that entire yeah, thing. Like, not a second thought. I was like still kind of mixing my whole thing together, and I looked over, and you were like it's taking gone. your last bite. I was like, "Damn, all right." Yeah, it was a it was perfect size. It was nice and dense. It wasn't too much. wasn't too little. Yeah, 
that was a good amount of I mean it looked it looked really good. There was a place um at Purdue that like opened like my senior year, my junior senior year. It was down at the landing, which is like basically how you've been to Purdue before. Mm-hmm. But like so we have like our main drag of like all of our bars and stuff, and then at like the, the base of it right next to the Wabash River is the landing, which is just like some restaurants, some movie theater, like a little like shopping plaza kind of thing. But they opened a place that was like sushi burritos. And I love that place, but I was always like, isn't this just like an uncut sushi roll? Isn't That's that literally just- a sushi burrito. It's a hand roll. And then yeah. like you just eat it. Uh, exactly. Of- I was like, isn't that just what this is? And I kept eating them and I was like, man, these are so good. And then I was like, this is an abomination. I can't do this anymore. Yeah. I can't, I can't live with myself if I eat <laughs> sushi this way. It's kind of, yeah, it's just, it's a barbaric way. You just yeah. grab the whole thing. <clears throat> Very American. So American. Amer- America is just like, all right, how can we make it easier yeah. for you to shovel this shit in your mouth so that you can get back to work? <laughs> Dude, Jiro is just like screaming yeah. his little sushi shop. Yeah. Sushi shop. There we go. Sushi shop. You never realize how hard it is to say certain things. Like the SH sound, like in succession. And then you know? especially when some of the words don't have the sh sound, it's yep. just a plain S. Yep. You know? English Suc- is stupid. Succession. You almost tripped up saying succession too. Yeah. S is in succession. I have, I had succession, to like yeah. Specify it. Yeah. I don't That's have like, hard. To my knowledge, I don't have like a speech impediment or anything. It's just like, fucking you know, hard to say those. It's things. hard to say S's and shisses. Shisses. And then you look at German and it's just like, all right, we're just going to take six words, combine them into one. Say yeah. it. And you're like, ah. They literally have like signs that will like go and then there's a hyphen and then it finishes on the second the line. Fuck? Like, it's just too long of a name. That's crazy. It's like, why not just make the sign longer? Just I don't make, understand. Right. <laughs> you know how long this word's going to yeah, be, Yeah, like, right? what? you have the font and everything. Yeah. Like, you fucking uh, pay your intern more to just, like, extend it. God, that's so funny. Uh, dude, German. Yeah, they just try. What a language. Just, just one word that means uh, one word with seven adjectives. Yep. A very red, very angry man with short stature. That's all one word. Yep. You know? Because there's a lot of specificity in German. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I remember taking a course in college that was, um, uh, it was Tolkien. Literally, like, that was the name okay. of the course. So, like, our professor, like, this this Kiwi who had, like, literally, like, only written about, like, Tolkien and, like, Icelandic mm-hmm. traditions his whole life. Has, like, a PhD in this shit. Oh, shit. He was, like, a Tolkien scholar. It was wild. Jesus, I don't know. But he was, like, explaining it, and he was just like, yeah, if you go back far enough, like, into German, like, you get, you get back into, like, Old English and mm-hmm. shit like that. He's like, there are just, like, specific words for everything. Damn. Like, everything has a name. Like, no matter what. And it's so that's wild cool that that's just, like, stuck. They're that's- just like, yeah, a specific thing is yeah. named this. Yeah. It's crazy. That's tight. What a wild language, bro. That's crazy. And now here we are speaking just a watered down version. Of yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to um, there. You see that those videos of that guy on YouTube, which is like white guy speaks Chinese and stuns local shop owners or whatever. <laughs> bro, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is guy on YouTube. His name is Shalma, and um, he's just like a white. Jewish dude living in New York City. Oh yeah, polyglot. Like picks up languages so fucking fast. That's insane, dude. I wish I could do it's that. It's it's crazy. So like what he does, he he studied in Beijing for a while. So his Chinese is like basically okay. native at this point. But so he'll go around and he's like very unassuming looking dude. He'll so he'll he'll learn a language for like three weeks, pick up pretty pretty conversational, uh, you know, dialect and stuff like that, and then go to these like because it's New York. There's right. pockets of every like culture. He'll go and he'll go to like a, you know, like a tiny mom and pop shop. And it's cool because he's got millions of subscribers and he'll go to these pop mom and pop shops, put like their name and their address and stuff. Like, hey, go support these people, whatever. It's really oh, yeah. cool what he Love does. That. And then he'll go and he'll like act confused. Like, can I get, how do I, like, do you guys have this? And then like, like midway through, he just transitions into like pretty flawless, whatever language they speak. And they're always like, what the fuck? And it's so cool because to see the shift. Cause then they start offering him free shit. And they're, it's they're really cool. I would yeah. I would check out his video. I love that. Have, That's yeah. so cool. There was a there was Very a cool. guy on the trumpet section in high school. Uh, I was in marching band. Um, the he was like our section leader, mm-hmm. and he was like part Danish. Okay. Like like his parents had immigrated here. Like strawberry whenever. or what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. I was just like, <laughs> You're like oh, he's talking about like, like the Danish. dessert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he would like just like talking to you. He would just like slip in and out of uh, oh, wild what yeah, Danish, right? Yeah. Danish, yeah. So he would just like slip in and out of it, and you're like, "What did you say?" And he's like, "What?" And <laughs> like we're, on like, purpose? No, like it, it oh, was just God. like he was just, just talking, yeah. and like because he speaks it fluently, like with his parents and everything, it would just come and go. So and we were just like, "It's Danglish." Exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, exactly yeah. that. And that's like, it's so funny to me where I'm just like, I, I, I'm so excited for the day where like all language is just kind of merged yeah. together. Yeah, like yeah. everybody's just like kind of flipping in and out yeah. of things. Like, it's just so interesting to me. That's always like one of my favorite things of going to like a Vallarta or something. Mm-hmm. And like you go up to the counter and like some dude comes up there and he like dabs his guy up and they're like speaking English and then they slip into Spanish for a little bit and then yeah, they come back, out of it back, and you're back. just like, man, that's cool as hell. That's I know cool. like 12 words of yeah. what you just said. Yeah. I get the gist, but that's about it. <laughs> that the, the Spanish language radio station here does that too. It's like, it's pretty much 50-50, but they'll, it's so funny because like all their ad reads and stuff, they'll be doing them in in Spanish and then they'll just switch back to English and then switch back to Spanish. And I'm like, it's so disorienting, but it's really funny. Um, I forgot the point of that. It doesn't really matter. (laughs) And next segment, next segment. I've been getting blown up by my fucking family and that never happens. So I'm just going to check real quick. <laughs> just, just like, is something case. bad happening? Yeah. They're just talking about like a fucking color of a couch or some shit, aren't oh, they? Oh, they're sharing their pumpkins <laughs> at their car. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that is really cute. Okay, I was a little worried because my uh, sad news, my grandma just died. Oh, oh my, my God, dude. My, my <laughs> grandpa's wife, not my grandma really, but uh, two days ago. So like, I was worried, worried it was something like that. It's a weird way to phrase that. Yeah. My grandpa's wife, not my grandma. She's not not my grandma she's uh, my my grandma's this is a, okay the grandma that i was spreading her ashes died like 20 years ago <laughs> i guess almost almost 20 years ago at this point yeah my grandpa got remarried oh okay okay so that. it's her okay got it. um uh, well damn dude i'm sorry yeah it, i mean it's it's okay she's been on hospice care like for a while so, so like y'all was, knew it was we knew it was coming stuff, whatever okay. um and they both both him and my, my grandpa and his uh you know, the newly deceased wife. Uh, <laughs> don't say it like that. I don't know how the fuck to say it, bro. <laughs> they they are both in the memory care unit of like um, uh, uh, assisted living home because they yeah. have a pretty bad dementia. Damn. Um, so kind of a blessing, honestly, because like he, I was forgotten already. Yeah. Like my mom went to, you know, go on the morning that she passed and like she had to tell him like five times. So like, it's good. He has a social life outside of that. Like, cause she's been pretty, uh, pretty like in hospice for like a couple months so she just kind of sleeps for 20 hours a day so he goes and he has like you know friends and so it's good good for him but to make matters worse my mom gets there on the on like two days ago whatever she's telling him she's whatever like are you okay he seems to be fine which is good she's like off like doing paperwork or whatever and um she's like hey can you come to the nurse's station real quick and so she goes she's like so you know we do covid tests here every week uh turns out your dad has covid and she's like oh my god so now he has to be isolated in his room for 10 days he can't even be like doing you know like off doing things to take his mind off oh of my his god, dead dude. wife <laughs> so oh uh, my god so now he's by himself a person with dementia by themselves in a room for 10 days it's gotta fucking suck I, it's just not gonna be good yeah Woo. yeah so not good so i was worried it was something like that but it was pumpkins so everyone's <laughs> fine everyone's good everyone's happy this is honestly kind of the best case scenario of this bad situation so it's fine yeah um man that sucks but it's, you know it's that that shit's hard man i get it yeah well so. when you get news like that every text that you get after for like the next two days you're like okay fuck you like brace yourself for the worst you right. know just in case mm-hmm. everything's good um so speak- it's pumpkins yeah just pumpkins, pumpkins. Some actual crazy shit, though, on top of this, bro. Yesterday. This happened yesterday. I, I'm, like, still flabbergasted. What? what? Paint me a picture. What time? What place? Right, what, what's, you, what's this whole thing like? I'm going to paint you a picture. All right. So yesterday, I, I signed up for my first tennis tournament, right? I'm like, I'm ready, right? I'm oh, fucking, fuck yeah, dude. Uh, I signed up for a couple weeks ago. It was yesterday. Man, you've been you've been building for this for I've, a while. I know. I've been, I've been grinding tennis for, like, almost two years at this point over the Pandiski. I'm like, I can... I'm like... <laughs> I'm going to compete, right? <laughs> I'm competition ready, <laughs> baby. Ready, let's go. Um, it's down in Torrance, which is Ew. far. Oh, my God. Bro, far. But I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's Saturday. It'll take like, you know, 40 minutes to get there with no traffic on a Saturday. It's fine. It starts at 8 a.m., right? Wishful thinking. Yeah, wishful thinking. It was fine. It didn't take too long to get there. Really, like 45 minutes because there was oh, okay. no traffic. I left it like 7 in the morning. Okay, good. Um, good, 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 good. So, I, I, you know, I'm driving there. And starts at eight. Uh, I'm I'm slated to get there at seven forty-five. I get there. I look at my phone because I'm not looking at it when I'm driving. And it, I get an email from the event organizer. Hey, uh, all games have been pushed from eight to nine. I'm like, 
whatever. I guess it's fine. I'll just go to Starbucks and wait around. 8.15, I get another email. All games have been pushed from 9 to 10 because it was raining in Torrance. Really? It was, it was I, Right? It was like this in the valley, a little huh. gloomy, but like it was raining in Torrance, which is which is crazy. And then, so 9 to 10, I'm like, oh, I can't even go back home at this point. Like, it's just like silly. <laughs> You're just sitting on the freeway just... Uh, yeah, I'm just like, okay, whatever. So I kill two hours. I get there at 10. And there's, the courts are soaking wet. They have a team of people rolling and, and leaf blowing the courts to try to get them ready for this tournament. Right? You know, have you ever gone to like a uh, like a theme park when it's raining? Yeah. You know, like those dudes that have just like the, the long squeegees? That's what it is. Yeah. The, yeah. They just push the water, but then you just watch it come back because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's how water, water works. <laughs> um, and that's yeah. just, that's my favorite brand of job. It's of just so like, funny. just futility yeah they're really like i mean they're like rolling out the water and like it would get pushed off the court and then like new water would come. i'm like it's this is pointless <laughs> so anyway so then they're like they're just watching these like human beings yeah. just doing a very impossible job yeah. and just watching mm-hmm. the light leave their eyes the leaf blowing the i'm like what are you gonna do like the only reason it was drying is because it had stopped raining and the sun was starting to come out like they could have been not doing that and it would have been fine right? <laughs> you could have just waited 15 yeah. minutes yeah so i'm um, there at 10 everyone else is there at 10 I mean, it's like a big like a big event there is you know i think there was like um it was it was down to the 16 seed like the, i had to buy the first week the first game which would have been friday and so i was in like the 16 seed of bracket but that's like damn look at you a lot of people right so a lot of people are there um so then 10 o'clock everyone's there still drying the courts off 11 o'clock rolls around they're like all right we're gonna put you guys all there's a country club down the road that we're having the other half of the tournament at but they've already finished a lot of their games because they actually started on time right because the courts weren't wet so you guys are now gonna all go to the country club right it's like okay fuck it fine (laughs) go to the country club finally start around 11 30 right but the crazy i mean it's a Games were supposed to start at eight because the the tournament is a two day tournament. So uh, there were uh, the sixteens and then like the eights, the eight seed yesterday, and then the quarters and the and the quarters yesterday, and then the semis and the finals today. Right. Um, right. I, I don't know how something like that. Three and two or two and two. It doesn't matter. I, I clearly am not there right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something, yeah. but I was like, nah. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, so starts three hours late, but they're like, all right, you guys get a five minute warm up, and then you got to play like we're on a time crunch. We got to we got to get more games, more matches going today. So I'm like, fucking whatever. <laughs> Everybody just gets hyper aggressive. Yeah. yeah. So we check in and get our court assignment. I'm there, five minute warm up, and then like, all right, you guys need to start. I'm like, okay. So we start, and then like maybe twenty minutes in you just hear screaming. Like, you hear someone on a different court screaming. There's like probably 10 courts. Everyone's playing. You hear screaming. Everyone stops. Like, it was so loud that everyone on the courts heard. Everyone stops. I'm like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, you just see people running in. Like, running to the court. I'm like, well, what the fuck is happening? And then everyone starts yelling. Help! Help! Call 911! Like, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm not gonna... Everyone starts going over there. I'm like, what the fuck are you going over there? I'm like, I'm gonna stay still. What What am I gonna be able to add yeah. to this situation that everybody else already isn't? Yeah, and I'm like... So, like, I'm so, kind of confused. So, we, like... We, like, hit another point. It goes right in the net. I'm like, I can't... There's too much noise going on. This is freaking me out. And then all of a sudden, someone just starts going, heart attack, heart attack, right? And then you just hear, like, the most primal, like, sobs from this woman, Right? Someone is just screaming, crying. Like, it was terrible. Dude, it, like, I am still kind of shocked. Like, I, I was, like, right? Someone's like, please wake up. Please wake up. Like, he's not breathing. Like, I'm freaking out, right? Every- I'm like, holy fucking shit. It was, like, really, like, someone is clearly dying right Holy now, right? fuck, dude. And, like, his, I don't know who it was because I didn't go see. But, like, it was, like, her dad or her partner or someone was c- dying, and this lady is just sobbing, wailing. Like you hear it. Like it's just painful. Rightfully so. Painful. They're like, everyone keep playing your games. <laughs> They're like, we're on a time crunch. <laughs> yeah. What? This person, this was one of the competitors in the mat, in the in the tournament, just fucking collapsed of a heart attack during a tennis match, right? And they're like, all right, everyone continue your games. We're on a time crunch. 
And so I'm like, fuck. So this lady is sobbing in the background. Like, please. So they just like, what? They just like drag this dude off the court. And they're I just like, know. all right, everybody. I don't know. I don't know. I Because I didn't want to go see. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, fucking fine. And you hear this, just this horrible sobs coming. And I, I'm like, it's my turn to serve. I'm like, fuck, dude, I like, can't do this. I, I can't serve. I'm like, guys, I'm sorry. I like, I can't play right now. We have to take a break. Like, this is really like emotionally affecting me. Like, yeah, I, it's I mean, fucked up. It's, it's fucked fucking up. crazy. I'm like, someone is actually dying right now. Right? I don't want to. And they're, and they're like, okay, you can take a break. So then my opponent goes and like checks it out. And I'm like, they're like, you want to come? I'm like, no, I don't want to see this. <laughs> what like, a weird yeah. thing to ask somebody. I'm like, like hey, you want to go watch somebody yeah. die? Yeah. Like, what? I'm like, no, I'm going to just sit here and like try to not cry. This is horrible. So, um, you know, eventually this lady stops crying because I guess before you, you hear the ambulances in the distance, apparently before the ambulances got there, he like regained consciousness and started breathing a little bit again. Okay. So like she stops like wailing, you know? Um, and then the ambulances get there, whatever. But like, I, I don't know what ended up happening with their opponents. I'm assuming they advanced because, you know, what are you going like, to do? Dude, imagine you're fucking like, you're playing a match and all of a sudden your opponent just starts dying. Like that would, I would, I would dr concede from the tournament. I would be like, I can't fucking play. Like I just saw someone die. <laughs> I just killed somebody. Yeah. Like, right. Like uh, it was, it freaked me out. That's Anyways. insane, dude. Yeah. So like we, everyone calmed down after that, but they're like, all right, yeah, keep playing your games. It was a great match. I lost, but it was, uh, I won the first set six, four, lost the second one, five, seven, and then lost the tiebreaker eight points to 10. So it was a very oh, close game. Damn. Very, very close game. I feel like I did pretty well for my first tournament. Very proud Especially of uh, yeah. given yeah. the circumstances of somebody dying. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like three feet away from you. Yeah. It was Jesus, really, dude. it was truly traumatizing. Holy shit. Did you get like any update on like this guy? No, no update. Oh my God. No update. I mean, I would have, hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, he's fine because she, it seemed like he was fine. I, again, didn't go see it because I'm not going to further traumatize yeah, myself. Yeah, let them, let them do their yeah. thing. Yeah. But like, she stopped crying. My opponent said that they were like breathing again and it was like fine uh so i'm assuming it's a happy ending brother but like <sighs> holy shit yeah. maybe that guy just has to like carry around some aspirin with him from now maybe on. holy yeah. shit Crazy. always always chew it baby chew your aspirin if your arm starts hurting get some aspirin pop it in your mouth it's like i wonder if there's like a jingle to be made there yeah probably that's an untapped market yeah i'm surprised if you made. feel a tingle in your arm put some aspirin in your Jarm. <laughs> Jarm. <laughs> Jarm. Chew the aspirin. Swallow it whole. You can't really swallow it whole you if you chew really it though. It. That's like right. the point. Uh, um, if you feel... What's the pain from a heart attack called? Angina? I'm trying to think of a rhyme for angina that isn't vagina. <laughs> right, that isn't the obvious <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> What 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 works there? Somebody help us write this Anyways, in the comments something below. Something about angina, whatever. <laughs> do, something do, do, about do. it. Chew an aspirin and it'll be good. It's like a it's like one of those like nineteen fifties like yeah, duck and cutter ads. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, something like really traumatic. Like in case there's nuclear fallout, get under <laughs> your desk. Back and there's the like some weird like like way too detailed like two D anthropomorphic like aspirin tablet yeah. dancing with yeah. like hands and gloves. Yeah, it, that's exactly what I'm picturing. Leading like a line of the rest of them into like some guy's mouth. Yep. Like walking across yeah. like his sternum up into there. Yeah, that's that's I can totally picture that. I can, I'm I totally get a very the tongue vivid rolls image. out, so it's like a like a red carpet for them up Ooh, in there. Ooh, yeah, very like cup heady style. Yeah, exactly like, that. Yeah. Exactly yeah. that. That's crazy. Because That's like everything idea. has to be like like hyper violent, but mm -hmm. like cartoonized to yeah. where it's like not horrifying. Yeah. So it's like still weird as fuck to think about, but then you're like, but they are cartoons. They are cartoons, you know? They Dude. are singing about something very dramatic, but animation makes everything less dramatic. Facts. As we know. Facts. As we know with Happy Tree Friends. As we know, I watched some episodes of the <laughs> Happy What is it? Happy, smiling friends. Smiling friends. How how yeah. how do you think? Oh, how do you think? How do you think? I thought I thought, dude, it was great. It was so it was so good. That it, first episode is wild. Yeah, dude. If you go into that show knowing nothing about yeah. it, it's the craziest shit. Yeah, it was really funny. I enjoyed it. God, what a show. Quite a bit. Um, <laughs> the dude finally smiling at the yeah, end, and he just yeah. start like all he had to do was just murder. Yeah, things. exactly. Crazy. <laughs> it was so wild. Insane. The guy who like uh, the two dudes who like made that show. Apparently, like it was made like three years ago, and mm. then like it, they it like didn't get picked up or something, and then they picked it up on Adult, Adult Swim, Swim when it, like right. when they did that whole thing with HBO, mm -hmm. uh, and people loved it. 
Like, they loved it. And so, like, his Twitter is always just him just, like, drawing random shit. It's so so funny, dude. Like, in his creepy art style. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Maybe that might not be him. I saw, like, someone drawing shit on a whiteboard that looked like it belonged in that universe. But I don't know if it was him or not. Never mind. Where where were you that there was just a No, it was on TikTok. It was, was, like, a TikTok video. And it was, like, this guy, like, all right, man, draw this. And, like, he was, like, all right, but actually make it like this. And it looks like... Never mind. It, it's something completely different. You're walking to lunch down the road, and there's just some dude on the sidewalk just on a huge whiteboard. <laughs> Smile! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Look at me! Um, oh my God. Anyways, yeah, crazy shit. I think that guy's fine, but that was. You was, think that guy's fine? I hope he's fine. I have no idea. It was scary as fuck, though. Dude. I was real. I've never heard anything like that in real life. Like you know, you hear dramatizations on movies of like, oh my God, like someone's dying, but like in real life, the pain of like seeing your loved one die in front of you was Dude. scary absolutely yeah just the amount of just raw emotion emanating from yeah. one person yes. is enough to just like derail like yeah. 50 other yeah. human beings it was nuts crazy it was nuts Anyways. jesus dude well i fucking hope they're okay yeah me too jesus me too. anyways that was my day yesterday uh then i got back from torrens it drove an hour back and then i played three more hours of tennis i played tennis for like eight hours yesterday. like just because yeah, just because. Because yeah. I didn't get my second game in because I lost. And I was really fully expecting, like, it was so close. I almost had that second set. It's best of two sets. I almost had that second set. And then I just, I was making silly mistakes. But, um, so you, I was like, you went back play. and you were like, it's time to fucking yeah. redeem so myself. Like, I didn't play more tennis. So then I played three more hours of tennis. And I'm playing tennis in three hours. So, like, I'm, Hell I'm yeah. fully getting it. I'm going to be. Dude, you're, you're going to be a, ten- a little tennis boy. I'm going to be a tennis pro. Dude, one day when you're like just knocking it back at the country club with all of your white on. Yeah, I'm, exactly. Dude, I'm, I'm going to say that I knew you uh, now. And you knew me now? Yeah, knew you I knew him when he started playing tennis. You'll, and you'll, I you'll forget about me, but you know what? I'll, I'll never oh, forget I'll about never you. I'll never forget about you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're going to be the announcer for, for my tennis games. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> he hit the ball. Is that good? Is that good? Is that good? Hey, can someone check? Is, where are we at? <laughs> oh, it's at 15. But he, he said it like three times. Was this, is this 15? How does it go? Is it oh 45 or 40 after 30? <laughs> Why does it go by 15 and then 10? <laughs> the whole time, like everyone's like sitting in the thing, just like looking up the box. I'm like, what are you talking yeah, about yeah. 15? Yeah. Just like, confused. Is it game and then match and then set? Or is it, how, what's the, what, how, okay, got it. And by that time, like we've already, the game's over. Everyone's <laughs> yeah, lost. everyone's leaving. And I'm like, We're like and explaining that, the rules. Oh, oh uh, have a good day, everyone. Uh, well. And that has been episode 3024 of the Lunchtime Serenade Podcast. <laughs> every every episode of the podcast is just us doing like yeah. something completely yeah. different. That's um, a that would be a really funny premise. Yeah, like trying was... to do like a show while some like one of the other people is just doing something completely Dude, different. That's honestly a good idea. That's a funny that would be a good concept, concept for an to interview try. show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, who, who? you have to, they have to do like the American Ninja Warrior course while like, <laughs> like answering questions. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There. Yeah, so uh, on set it was really interesting <laughs> because we were working with the director to talk about all of these other uh, instances of which, you know, we would try to uh, set, set it up to shoot in like infrared, but it wasn't really working. And I just, can like, tell you've watched American Ninja Warriors. You got that salmon ladder yeah, perfect. Dude. Like, you know, yeah, dude. That's so yeah, funny. dude. <laughs> oh, shit. I, so yeah, there, there's, a, there's a friend of mine who's like, uh, I believe he like was a story producer uh-huh. on American Ninja Warrior <laughs> too. So it was just like... There's just like this weird interconnection so of that funny. show in my life, and I just love it. That's hilarious. It's so it's such an it's such an insane show. Like it's there was nuts. a time where they tried to make a like a Survivor esque like spin out off it. What did you ever know about this? No. Oh my god! So there was like there was like five people, kind of when American Ninja Warrior was like picking up in mm-hmm. like the the like the like, like 20, early, early 2010s, early, yeah. kind of around there. So they made like a reality like competition series that was like. Yeah. All of these people who like did really well in American Ninja Warrior like went to like a training competition basically, mm-hmm. and they were like on teams. They had coaches, and they would like do the events and stuff to like get better at it. And we would learn about them along the way as they develop their sure, sure, uh, experiences. Yeah. And then like at the end, they would like do the course. <laughs> and it was always funny because it was like these people that are like you know we've been watching them for like ten months, and they would just fucking eat it on like oh the my first God. thing. <laughs> and just like damn, that sucks. I mean, bro. it's fucking hard. Like, yeah, you know? no, absolutely. I'm not trying to d- detract from that, but it was just like funny because it's just like oh yeah, like these guys are, like for this. like 
peak physical condition every day. Like they're doing these things to get prepared for it. And they just like slip on like the first thing. Yeah. Yeah. They just eat shit. And you're like, oh, that's such a bummer. That's the crazy part about like, unless you're training on like the specific obstacles, there's no fucking, it doesn't matter how in shape you are, bro. Like there, these are things you're not going to encounter in any of your, it's, it's also funny too, because like the American Ninja Warrior is like such like a huge over like produced, like spectacle, Mm -hmm. like 40 cameras Mm -hmm. on every course. They've got like pyrotechnics and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You're like in a downtown, like metropolitan area. <laughs> you've Cincinnati. got these like, yeah, you've got like these like, these like big time announcers and stuff right. like that. You've got like packages made for every one of these people. Oh yeah. You've got like uh, sideline reporters basically. And then you go to like Ninja Warrior, like in Japan. Mm-hmm. And it's just like in a fucking field. Yeah. Like, yeah. like there's nobody around. It's just an empty location. It's dubbed over afterwards right. with like an announcer. Right. And that's it. That's all the show is. And America so was good. just like, I bet we can make this cost more. Yeah, we can overpress <laughs> the shit out of this. Yeah, NBC was just like, give us like three months. Yeah. Don't you worry. Exactly. It's just so funny to me that they were like, let's just steal this idea. That's what and we do. dump money into it. That is what we do. Boy. What a show. American No Ninja one wants, Warrior. I mean, like, that's American TV, though. Like, yeah. no one's going to watch, like, even though the show may be effective in its current state and its current market, like, as a maybe single cam, two cam show, like, whatever, it just, like, no, no one in America watches that kind no. of shit. At least mainstream. Look at the fucking voice, dude. Yeah. There's so, just so much overproduction in a fucking <laughs> chair turning around yeah. and then, like, four people who are kind of, like, past their prime talk yeah, to, dude. like, all of these, like, contestants. Yeah. And it's just, like, what... You, 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 uh, and you got like American have... Idol like kind of had it like you just fucking sit there yeah. man like what are you gonna do it's a talent scout um, and then you have like you gotta have like those two people that like maybe they're okay at singing but like their backstory is just so traumatic yeah. and, like you have to have the emotional involvement yeah. it can't just be like a oh hey cool talent show it's like <laughs> We'll get them past the first round just so that they don't, just so that we don't look like assholes and then we'll just fucking drop them. We'll golden buzzer them like, hey, your dreams of coming are coming true. Like your dad is up there, like smiling down upon you. Like, you know, he gave his vocal cords to dying seals so that they could live. And now you will get to do this with your dream. Golden buzzer. You're going to Vegas. Oh my God first round you don't even see them on the next you, you <laughs> they're know? just gone they're, 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 they're like, like yeah so one uh, hour they 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 had to leave because uh one of their seals had a vocal cord injury <laughs> so they had to go donate their vocal cords exactly. to the seal following in their father's footsteps so they will not be, um, singing. They will not be here for the remainder of the uh series and exactly. everyone's Anyways, like, yeah and then everyone's a dog like who juggles <laughs> and they're like oh and then like weird star yeah. transition that's like way too much and then ooh, like a dog juggling yeah and then you're like and you're like wow cool <laughs> and then, then cuts to the audience like the, all the like stock reactions that they get beforehand oh yeah oh ah. so good dude i want to do like 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 an effort day where like I just put a microphone in front of you and I just let you just make sounds <laughs> just, just to have like as a library. What is an effort day? What is that? Oh, uh, it's like in animation. So uh, like you have dialogue, right? Mm-hmm. So efforts are like um, like vocal things that they oh, do okay. that are not dialogue. Gotcha, so gotcha. it's like like an uh, oh, like yeah. when they're fighting and stuff. <laughs> so those, exactly. Uh. So those are all efforts gotcha. is usually what they're referred to as. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when you're doing, like, a record, like, your script will always have, like, it'll just be, like, the lines with, like, a little bit of context mm-hmm. of, like, the scene around it highlighted. And then always on the last page, it's just efforts. And then it's just, like... Grunt one, grunt two. It's literally, grunt. it's literally just, like, grunt from falling. Grunt from being punched. Ugh. X, Y, and Z. And they're just, like, highlighted. And it's, like... And That's then you, you just... You sit there at a, at a Pro Tools booth watching some dude in a glass box go... Ugh. Uh, uh. <laughs> you want me to go like a little, little higher, a little lower? Um, yeah. But why, why don't you? Why don't you? Uh, you know, you're 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 getting hit by like a metal pipe. You know, like it's it's really knocking it out of you. All right. Uh. Yeah. And like it's just so weird. It's just such a weird process, and I love it, dude. It's so much fun. Oh, that's so good. There's man. like a the, there's like a whole thing too called like lipstick cams. So like mm-hmm. when you do. When like a, a person is giving their performance or whatever, and they're like talking, you have a camera that has time code running. Ju- mm-hmm. That's just like of them. Usually pretty low res. Usually like 720p yeah. or lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's your lipstick cam. So when you like are doing your animation and like 
publishing that to your animators, they can pull up the lipstick cam with like the the dialogue time mm-hmm. code so that they can see like what their face looked like oh, as they yeah. were saying it so that they can kind of use that to influence what the animation looks right, like. Right, right, right. And it's just always funny to me to think some dude just like somewhere in the world is sitting at a computer. He's got his 3D model pulled up. His rig is great. The skeleton looks awesome. Uh, weights are painted perfectly, surfacing crushed it, and he's just like got him animate the mouth to match what like this dude is just screaming while he's getting hit by a pipe, and he's just like, oh, oh. yeah, it's just so it like animation is fucking hilarious That's to me. Crazy, Start bro. to finish, insane. The fact that it exists blows my mind, and I just I just love it. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it is man <laughs> all right you get hit in the back of the head by a backpack and then you turn around ready to be mad but it turns out it's your high school crush huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh. could you imagine immediately like like getting hit by like a fucking metal pipe like full on yeah. just like like a dh <clears throat> just like just swapped it straight into your diaphragm yeah. and you turn around and in that moment you're immediately good because you're just like yeah yeah that's it Uh, (laughs) your ribs like reconfigure and you're like oh there we go Uh, not dead anymore (laughs) great my my stomach is still together love it Uh, it's uh, like the funny thing too is like you're sitting there and you're like you you listen to like the way that they're trying to say this and stuff like that and they're like describing the scenes and stuff and then like you start getting like previs back and uh you're like yeah <laughs> you're like damn that fucking worked yeah. he's trying i yeah. mean that's why they pay him that money that like is. damn that's so funny it's, bro. It, dude animation is wild the sheer fact that like like two people can have all of that in their head crazy nuts absolutely crazy uh, nani nani dude are you gonna see uh, the new puss in boots what oh yeah. yes Yes, of course. <laughs> Come uh, on. Duh. Yes, I'm going to see I, the new Puss in Work I, I from DreamWorks Studios. Of course I will. Dude. I will be first in line on the opening night. Dude, it's it's really good. <laughs> when does it come out? Next uh, week? It's, it was originally supposed to be October 13th, mm-hmm. which was... Yesterday. Two days ago. Three Friday. days ago. Friday. It's supposed to be October 13th, and then they, like there was some like other like release thing so they pushed it back to like it's supposed to be like around like Christmas time. Sometime in December. Oh, they pushed it back that far. Yeah. Shit. But do you see it. It's... It's really good. <laughs> it's really I'm not good. saying that like out of like some weird nepotism thing. Like it's genuinely good. So, dude, honestly, those movies like that, I, I really fuck with animated movies. That I mean, they have they have. I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. But it's they've got something for everyone, dude. Yeah, I fucking love animated movies. I They're do. so great. And like the I, the thing that I've always loved about animation is that you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Like, you're not really beholden to anything but your budget and your, like, time. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you yeah. can do whatever. And it's That's, kind of lovely. It's yeah. usually cheaper. <laughs> as, as, Is it really? As I Illumination so. has proven. Mostly because they're all non-union. Oh, shit. Yeah. There, there's shit. there's a big push right now for um, studios like Illumination to be doing things. You know, I mean, the Minions. Minions mm-hmm. made a shit ton of money. And it was non-union. super cheap to produce. Ooh. Because they're not a union studio. Ooh. So, um, uh-oh. Yeah. So there, there's like this whole thing of like people being like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if we can do something like that. And they're like, well, we're not going to be able to do it in L.A. Let's give it to this studio in Vancouver. It's just it's yeah, it's Damn. interesting. It's there's really this interesting. There's whole thing with like uh, the Bayonetta video games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where they're Speaking like of which. The, the lady who has voiced Bayonetta for years or whatever. They're coming out with Bayonetta 3, which maybe it's already out. She didn't do the voice of it, and she dropped this video on Twitter. She's like, this is why I didn't do the voice of Bayonetta 3. It's because they offered her $4,000 all in. $4,000 to do the entire video game, first of all, to do all the voices, which is or all the voicing for Bayonetta, which is not a lot of money. It's, it's crumbs for it's a multi-million dollar game. Very, very low. Yeah, that is insanely <laughs> low. To do all of the voice lines for a character for like a, I don't know how long the playthrough of Bayonetta is, 30 hours maybe? Like, I don't fucking know. It's like crazy. All, all that dialogue like because it's interesting too so like a lot of when you're doing like voice work and stuff like that i can't speak for everything but a lot of the times like you bill it based off of either your hours in the booth Mm -hmm. or days in the booth Mm depending upon like how long the how much shit you have to do and sometimes you also do it based off of how many words okay so you can like you can base your 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 rate off of a lot of different um a lot of different what are they called 
factors, pricing Thank factors. You. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like different factors. And so like for them to offer four thousand dollars in total, that's like that's nothing. That's that is literal chump change. Yeah, you're get that's like maybe what you would get paid for like like three hours. Maybe for like this for this big of a like for this big of a thing. Yeah, but it's like interesting too because the person that they replaced her with is like a very prolific voice actor, like really? in video games and like a lot of things. A huh. Je- Jennifer Hale, last name's Hale, but she's like the voice of like female Shepherd and all the Mass Effect games. Really, like she does, like she's a very prominent. I voice refuse actor. to believe that she did that for four thousand. Yeah, it's it's weird. Where That's I'm like. Crazy. Okay, like what Goes was then. what was that? Because like how did how did they pass to the person who was already there unless they were like literally trying to muscle her out to be like, we're yeah, gonna lowball you because we don't want you. That's wild though. But like yeah. she's been the voice for so right. long, you know? Exactly. Like she's literally done two games. Yeah. Which I didn't know there was a second one. I didn't even um, know there was a yeah. The first the first it's fucking it's a bonkers series. I've like, never like I only know her from Smash. Yeah, really? like her hair, yeah. like turns into like fists and shit, and really? then she has like guns and like oh, shit. hit thing. It's weird. It's a Damn. weird series, dude. Okay, that's crazy. But I mean, it's you know, it's it's There's a lot of bayonetta fan art on Twitter. Oh, yeah. I found that from doing my research. Lots, yeah, lots of bayonetta feet pics. Yeah, a I lot know. of Rule Thirty Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, way why, too much. Know. Of She's course, a very beautiful cartoon character. I will admit, I, I, it's not weird to say it like that, but <laughs> <laughs> she's a very beautiful, not real creature. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. really awesome. Yeah. Um. Then, then there was something else. God, I can't remember the name of the anime, but the this, Mob Psycho. Yes, Mob yep. Psycho. The guy who does the English dub for that. They, they want. What is it that they want to go? They don't want to go union, or they, they do want. Well, they they are union. They are union. So right. they're they're basically going to recast everybody so that they can put non union people in right, those roles. Right. Exactly. So that they don't have to pay them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck. It's a lot of That's a crazy. lot of shit in in the entertainment industry like That's that. Crazy. And it's like it's weird because like fully like yes unions like should exist and they 100%. like do incredible things. Yeah. Like a million percent, almost everything should be union. Yes. And then like you have all these people that are like, well, it's a business. You know, we have to we have to make profits to appease our shareholders. And I'm like, all right, man, you don't have to make forty million dollars. Right. Right. Fuck you. What the hell? <laughs> like, calm down, I guess, maybe? Crazy. It's uh, it's so, like, money, grubby, hungry, yeah. fucking, like, no, nah, let's just not take care of and our that, That's the thing. Let's it, not give them help. At care. the end of the day, the entertainment industry is a business. And that's why, like, a lot of your, your, your favorite movies that you have gripes with um, usually end up not what you want them to be because a company's got to sell it to somebody in Kansas. You know, like it's yeah. just, that's just how it is, man. I'm sorry. Sorry to tell you, but that's just how it is. <laughs> not everybody can be an A24. It's Aspects. just how it is. Yeah. Yeah. We're just getting to this like weird, like overly homogenized, like gray goop of like entertainment where yeah. everything is basically just Fast and the Furious. Yes, just like we're gonna remake pole. shit that worked well. Yeah. We're gonna redo it, and then we're gonna make ten sequels of it, and yeah. then we're gonna actually phase out every voice actor and only replace them with people whose names you already know, yep. and pay Chris Pratt ten million dollars to to just sound like Chris Pratt was from New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, to sound like Linda from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> did, did you see? I that? was dying at that, dude. That was so good. Oh my god, it's just her standing there with the little Mushroom Martha. Kingdom or whatever. That god, that's so, so funny. funny. I love that show so yeah. much, dude. <coughs> Yo, that Whoa. was deep, bro. Uh, Are you okay? Got a yeah. little like rice or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was like something like stuck in like my windpipe. Oof. You know, like when you like can feel it go out and then into the right yeah. one. That's what just happened. <laughs> Picture that at home. Everybody. I had a piece Get- of corn in my sinuses the other day from Chipotle, bro. It fucking burned. in your sinuses. Like so, like I didn't swallow it correctly, and you know, how, like the track that like yeah, it's, it's all connected. Like, yeah, it was like in one of those holes up there, and bro, I'm like. I was like, no. I was like trying to shake it out. It hurt Ew. so fucking bad. Finally, the corn dislodged itself, but instead of going down my throat, it came out this way, and it was just like phlegmy Ugh. corn. I'm so sorry for that image, but it hurt so. Like it felt like there was corn scratching my brain. It was. Did horrible. you ever watch Codename Kids Next Door? Yeah, dude. So you remember uh, that one dude that was like the common cold, like their, one of their enemies, mm-hmm. and his gun was just like a nose. Yeah, and you know how it like shot those like weird booger things. Yeah, that. That is that, what I envision. Yep, with just corn. Yep, yeah, that's 100% what it's it was. It's just like a kernel of corn in the center of it flying through Code the air. Dean, kids next door. I haven't thought about that show in a while. Dude, have you been? So Cartoon Network has turned 30 years old. Have you been watching the live stream? No, what? They have a live stream on YouTube that's like their 30th anniversary oh, that they're just showing. Yeah, excuse me. Bless you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank Everybody you. gets one. Um, <laughs> they've, they've just been showing um, like like 
iconic Cartoon Network episodes. And it's been... It's on YouTube? But yeah. It's oh. been fucking awesome. It's, it's like the Omelette du Fromage right episode of Dexter. Oh my god. Uh, there's like some shit from Ben 10. There's um, Cartoon Network. Uh, uh, like the Door Thief episode of... Um, <laughs> bless you. Of <sighs> Adventure Time. They had like some like We Bear Bears in there. Where did like, they, oh my god. There's so many... They're live yeah. on... on. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Teen Titans? Yeah. Oh, old school Like Scooby-Doo. actual like Scooby-Doo stuff. There's been like a lot of things from like Yo. the early 2000s. Like there's been like some, like like I said, Dexters. There's been like Johnny Bravo on there a little oh, bit too. That's so sick. It's, they've been showing like the, the golden old, era. They've been showing like old Cartoon Network commercials too. Like you remember those oh, ones that were like, it was like the 3D world and like the cartoons were like interacting yeah, with each other. Yeah. It was like that stuff. Dude, I was like, we're, we were sitting there watching it and I was just like, wow, I'm like... <laughs> I'm it feels like 2006 two again. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, dude, it's been it's been lovely. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. Just look up Cartoon Network on YouTube. It's just like a media stream of them just showing shit. That's so it's sick. It's so lovely. Oh, Which yeah. people were like freaking out because they thought Cartoon Network Studios was like getting shut down oh, because shit. of like the merger. Yeah, right. So they were like, oh, it's just going to be Warner Brothers. But like they've like since kind of walked that back mm-hmm. and they're like it's like that's not what's happening like we're being folded into each other but like the cartoon network studios imprint will still exist okay they are just now an entity of warner oh, brothers animation WB. like that's right. just that's just how it is i mean that's pretty typical like a lot of times like when you when you merge companies they're not necessarily just going to like wholesale get rid of your studio name mm-hmm. or anything like that because it is so iconic sure, like you can't just course. get rid of cartoon network at this point right. so like they're going to keep it as like its own imprint, mm-hmm. but like you know, it's going to be mostly Warner Brothers animators who are like filling in those yeah, positions. Like yeah, yeah. they're going to slowly like merge them. Yeah, but it's really it's really weird and interesting. Like the amount of like merging of like all of these like big name studios and stuff like that. MGM getting bought by Amazon. Like all. Oh, of these, I didn't know about that. That's yeah, that crazy. happened. That happened a little while ago. Really? Damn. So like Amazon now holds like the publishing rights to James Bond and That's stuff like nuts, that. Dude. It's <clears throat> it's it's really interesting. And like that's what everything is going towards. Yeah, yeah. we even saw—I can't remember what movie we saw—but at the beginning of it, it like it had it was like Warner Brothers, and then it was like a uh, a Warner Brothers Discovery uh, company, and I was like, oh fuck, they're like they've already updated all of these like bumpers and stuff. I mean, like ten years from now, it's going to be like two companies that own fucking everything. It's just going to be Comcast and Viacom. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then they're going to merge Viacomcast, and then it's only then we're fucked. Viacast. Viacom. Viacomcast. <laughs> just via, via Comcast. Yeah. Was that the first one? That you was said? the first one I said. <laughs> yeah. Damn. We should have just should have <laughs> just gone with the original. One. Anyways, crazy. Damn. Crazy dystopian shit. A lot of death. A lot of Ugh, man. destruction. IP. IP. Being mangled. Yeah. Damn, dude. It's dark. We're headed down a dark path. Ugh. But we hope we could provide some love. <laughs> <laughs> all we talked about was like all depressing shit. About, but, hey. but hey, we had some great poke. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah. Which did we say the name um, of the place? We did not. From Poke Tomik. There we go. That's like the first eighty-three episodes. And I know. It's we... the first time that we just like fully were talking about something else and yeah. just lost it. Poke Tomik. That's oh, what it's called. Great there's, place. Yeah, it was great. There's a there's, bunch of uh, there's a bunch of them around LA. I don't really know if there's anyone. It's like a, like a small kind of chain, like yeah. a local chain. Almost. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's more other places. It oh, seems yeah. like it would really only thrive in a place next to an ocean. So yeah, I'm not right. sure. Yeah, I don't really know how good like the the poke would be in like Boise, Idaho. Yeah, or like Nebraska. Ooh, Nebraska poke. Like you think those dudes going to like Crichton like walk out and they're like, hey, let's go get some sushi downtown. Yeah, no, we can get some. You know, Walking through can, Omaha, Nebraska. They got like the trout from the river in the and like uh, oh, like catfish sushi. <laughs> They've got like the the imitation crab that's just like white fish. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. we got that stuff. Got it's that. it's frozen in the back. Tastes real good real good but i'll tell you what we got a cow right here that we can turn into a stick yeah. in front of you uh, you have a pokey with a stick <laughs> it's just they give you a steak that just has like seaweed Seed on salad it. on it yeah. and they're just like here you go here's your pokey here's your poke and they're like what what is this i don't like, know maybe i shouldn't have gone to Crichton. Fuck. yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways y'all what a day what a time we hope you enjoyed yourselves i know i did and my stomach is happy right now that's a first that's the first. Yeah, we usually like finish these episodes and then like we'll text each other like an hour later, yeah. like, dude, I'm shitting my brain. Yeah, out. like I not in know. like a negative sense. It's just like we just ate yeah. too much food. Yeah, this is a good amount, and yeah. it was like fresh and whatever, and yeah. you know, so because we live by an ocean. <laughs> Suck it, <laughs> ocean supremacy, bitch. 
We are the coast. In the ocean. We are coastal elite. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be underwater in the next oh, twenty yeah. years. Hey, I'm gonna. We're gonna be fine in the valley, though. Yeah, oh, the valley will be. Fine. We're totally fine. The valley will be beachfront property. So yeah. I'm just hedging my bets now that this place will be worth millions in the next fifteen years. I mean, it's already. It's already worth, worth a yeah, million. Yeah, least, exactly. So. so you know. We'll see. Oh, God. All right, y'all. We love and we appreciate every single one of you. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Middle, middle of, of the day. day. Middle, middle of the week. week. Peace. Peace. I love sideways high fives. I know. They're awkward.